All right, we're here in the disaster area that also serves as my kitchen area. I took my good food quality toaster oven out today. I tried to make something. I actually started it last night. I took one of these banquet family style Salisbury steaks and thawed it out. There were six steaks in it with the brown gravy. Now, while that was thawing, I sauteed up some onion, minced garlic, and about half of that two-pound package of mushrooms, and a diced-up peeled potato. Once that was all cooked up, I chopped that up. I heated it up just a little bit so the gravy would work, and uh, chopped that all up, put it in a big pot, and uh, when it got really good and hot, I added some peas. Whenever all of that had heated thoroughly, I made sure it was mixed really good. And then I stored it away so that, you know, it would cool and kind of congeal, I guess. I also used a package of brown gravy mix. For my spices, I used fresh cracked black pepper, pink salt, and just a little bit of crushed red pepper. Now, I put that into my baking dish. Okay, so the toaster oven burned it. The dish is too tall. Uh, I took a package of cream cheese, and I put about half of the block on top of the the... Shepherd's pie is what I was trying to make. Uh, mixture in the bottom. I made up a whole bunch of instant mashed potatoes. And then I, uh, you know, put that on top of the cream cheese. And my ankle is getting attacked by a cat. Anyway, this is what it looked like. Yeah, that's where it burned. Not so cool. But it smells awesome, and let's, uh, oh, it's got a good crunch to it. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to be able to do this one-handed very well. Let me see if I can get some on there. Oh, yeah. And there was enough of the mixture I made to actually do this twice. I've already got the other half frozen. It may not really be shepherd's pie, and uh, who knows what's in that banquet Salisbury steak, but uh, it already smells great, and I'm starving. Uh, yeah, I just wish I hadn't burned that part, but like I said, the toaster oven's a little too short for this baking dish.